owner of a local Mexican restaurant chain is saying after an investigation revealed hundreds of thousands of dollars in unpaid wages. 8 News Now reporter James Schaefer joining us with more from a federal investigation now and what the chain's owner is saying in response tonight. The U.S. Department of Labor found that 32 employees of Juan's Plenty of Fajitas were not being paid their overtime wages. Well, tonight the owner tells me that this was an honest mistake after agreeing to pay nearly half a million dollars. So ever since we found out, we took uh, corrective measures. Juan Vasquez, owner of Juan Slain Fajitas, revealing what he is doing now following a federal investigation into his company when 32 employees claimed they were not paid their overtime wages. Are you too? Yes. Okay. The issue, according to Vasquez, his three restaurants are three separate companies, meaning when an employee works more than 40 hours at multiple locations, it didn't carry over into overtime on a single paycheck. Vasquez expressing regret in their mistake. This was an honest mistake. Again, if I would have known that our three restaurants, our three LLCs were considered as one enterprise, I would have taken measures a long time ago when we started moving some employees that needed and wanted to work some extra hours. But the U.S. Department of Labor arguing that the actions were deliberate. Vasquez disagrees. If I would have known that in the government's eyes that the, our three restaurants, our three LLCs are considered one enterprise, I would have paid it at that time. Vasquez adding he wants his customers to know they have learned from this, quote, honest mistake. And whatever they owe, we will pay them. We love the community. We love our employees. Our employees is what makes this happen. They do their best to give every single dining room customer who comes to their door a great dining experience. Now, the U.S. Labor Board said that this investigation started in March of 2021 and was completed in May of this year. Reporting live from the West Valley, James Schaefer, 8 News Now. Now, the Department of Labor also confirmed that the restaurant plans to change its record-keeping practices to include total hours worked at multiple locations so they can properly calculate that overtime.